Oh, John, what, you, you know, it's you. It is you. I don't know why you don't think it's you. Mm. So, what did I come out here for? I really came out here to do a little dandelion walk. Because I know it's dandelion harvest time. And I have them all over my immediate area around my house. But they're just around my house. I mean, there are scattered a little bit some out there, but uh, not like they are around my house. What I learned today is I came out here early this morning and these dandelions actually look dead. To me, I, when I looked, I didn't have my glasses on, but they looked dead. They were all shriveled up. They closed up. They were actually closed up. And I'm going to get up early this morning, uh, tomorrow, and I'm going to videotape these same dandelions in their closed up mode. Now, these are seeding right here. That's what I was waiting for, but I told Kevin to hold off cutting the grass until they actually seeded. I mean, as a kid, I loved I loved doing this as a kid. I don't know why. Taking one of these things and blowing it. I don't even know if I'm going to... Oh, they're blowing all over me. I mean... <laughs> I'm not into doing the... I, you know... 50 years ago, I would have been into more controlling what I'm filming. Now, it's like, this. Is, these are closed up. This is what they look like this morning. Hold on. Like, this one right here is still closed up. These are closed up. This one looks like it's going into closed up mode. But all of them this morning were closed up. I, I'm just going to have to videotape it because I, I couldn't believe it with my own eyes, you know. And I don't know why I wasn't moved to go video it. Because, you know, uh, when I tell stories, to me, if I was on the other end of the receiving that information that I'm putting out there a lot of times, doesn't sit well with most people. <sighs> Especially when it comes to the transformation and the uh, awakening of the human race to the fraud and the fraud, theft, the breaking of the Ten Commandments. I mean, you don't even have to go outside of that revelation by this same author of the Bible in there is the Ten Commandments. And to that Ten Commandments got added all kinds of other laws that went into greater details of what those commandments encompassed. Human behavior. Shit, man. I know I deserve to die. I think that's why I'm so pissed off for the most part. I'm I'm really mostly upset at myself. I got mail. I got mail. That's a different letter carrier there. Usually I, I recognize the letter carrier. There's two of them that have been... Oh, stop. You don't need to go there. You were doing dandelions. And then you go off into these little tangents. Again, these, this, is, this is your yard right here. This is my driveway, but this whole thing is my yard. That truck is parked on my yard. All of those trucks are parked on my yard. That right-of-way right there is on my property, and it goes all the way down, and then my property keeps on going up there about you know two football fields back. I used to walk it all the time, but definitely got taken down a different road. road. 
So, if I... No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You know how you get tripped up there. I've said it so many times. If I had kept... I did keep a record, but if I would have been more willing to put out there what was coming to me and not being worried about the criticism and the possible disconnecting of people when you in their minds they label you as crazy and evil and wicked I mean the worst names that I've ever been called came from my own family. I won't get any more specific right now, but they know who they are. It's one thing about the human mind, is it is capable of recording every single event. Some, though, goes in the uh, delete file, some go in the not-so-important file, and some seem to go into a special place, into your ability to hold memories, as we call them. For me, it's in the form of pictures and sound, images and sound, music, certainly triggers lots of memories for me I don't know and I have memories I believe stored all over my body I don't think they're just stored up in my head I think you are the whole human creation has incredible abilities in terms of memory because I think you have what's called muscle memory that means that muscle has the ability to memorize movements that you don't even have to think about them they're automatically programmed into that muscle to respond according to what is being called upon by some controlling consciousness over the whole mechanism that's not a profound statement that's a reality we all know when you come to this understanding that you are more than the creation you dwell in, that there's some part of your conscious existence that you know, you know you didn't make yourself. Come to the reality that if you are given the gift of making something worthy of even the slightest recognition from another human being where does that glory belong I mean seriously where does the glory of anything you do go if you were creative And I would just argue on the other side, if you believe that you are a self-created being, you would need quite a bit of evidence to convince me of that. Scientific evidence, just utilizing the man-made rules of scientific accepted truths. Because we seem to have a lot of conflicts out there, not only in our historical record, but in what is considered scientific the evidence of scientific processes, procedures, evidence, physical outcomes. There's so much that goes into that. I mean, I think there's a breakdown in our human language that we no longer even understand basic sentences that would allow us to communicate so that we can understand one another. Understand the differences of what we're experiencing. 
I'm going to shoot these dandelions. I'm going to shoot the dandelions tomorrow. I'm going to come out here and sh That's not a dandelion. I'm just... This is in my yard. And for so many years, I saw them but did not appreciate that sometimes the very smallest of things have the beauty of even larger things. They grow up all over my yard. But most people like to have a grass that's just all green and they bypass things like this. You know what likes these? Butterflies. Butterflies like them. Bees like them. I, I like them. I told them to hold off on cutting the grass. It wasn't a deal, really, but uh, it started with Johnny. I'm making this as just testimony of what transpired here. Going back to 2001, when I pulled into this driveway shortly after 9-11, And a man down the uh, end of the road there in that house down there at the end, his name is Johnny Beard, came rolling up here and met me on his lawnmower and inquired on what was I doing here. And I told him, I said I was looking at the house that was up for sale, which was over there. It looks quite different than it did back in 2001 uh, but uh, he spent I don't know how long it was but he when he found out that I was looking at the house to buy it he for whatever reason was moved to tell me the history of the house and the people that lived in those three houses inc which included him on the end there There was a fence that went up along the right-of-way there. The right-of-way is that road right there that is on my property, as the deed says. But all of these families were related. This house, all three of them, they were all related to one another. But anyway, there was a fence that was put up along that right-of-way all the way down to the end which really cut them off of this whole property here. Mostly about uh, the driveway space for them when they had family over. I mean, it was just, I don't know. I, I didn't get it. But anyway, he told me that story, and I told him, Johnny Beard, which I've told Kevin. Kevin knows, Kevin Howard, which is the son, one of the sons of the Howards that live in the middle house. I told Johnny Beard that if I bought the house that he could take the fence down and his family could go back to doing whatever they did before the fence was put up. I didn't even know all the details. I had a summary of it. But it mostly just pertained to them uh, having the ability to utilize that for parking for their family when they came. They weren't farming the land or anything, even though I'm quite sure the Howards could have, but they just weren't into that. She had great gardening skills. She had always had beautiful gardenings out there. And I'm going to say in 1980, or 19, what am I saying? In 2001, the question is how old was she in 2001? I think in 2001 she was, uh, I'm thinking she was in her 70s. Close to 70. That's what I think. I could get verification on that. Which would put her somewhere in her 90s right now. So what transpired, obviously what transpired is... I bought the house. 
and the day I bought the house, I drove up here, drove into the driveway, and Johnny Beard showed up on his tractor. It's a true story. As God is my witness, it's a true freaking story. And, uh... And he just said, he, I said, hey, how you doing? Which means, but I thought he, you know, would recognize me to say it like that versus the way he said it the first time was, hey, what are you doing here? I think he did recognize me. And I said, um, hey, I said, how you doing? I don't know if I called him Johnny or whatever. I just, hey, how you doing? And I said, I, I, I bought it and you can take down the fence if you want. And he got really excited about that. And I said, yep. Yeah. And, uh. And I think that was pretty much the end of that conversation, you know. I um, I think I might have overwhelmed him a little bit. I don't think he thought that was going to happen, but it happened. And I bought the house, and I told him he could take the fence down, and which got them back to what they had been used to for for their for their probably their whole life. I don't know how long it goes back for the Howards, but I know for Kevin, it was his whole life. So I'm thinking, you know, it was more than 50 years but I think their family goes back uh, they have their names are on the church down the road they have a, there, some of their family are on stained glass in the church and shortly after that not that day I don't think it was that day but I was shortly after that uh, when we did buy the house when we went to settlement and showed up you know to do the whole you know take occupancy of the house after we signed the papers <laughs> uh, I don't know if it was that day or shortly after that you know uh, Johnny asked about cutting the grass and I said Johnny whatever you were doing before you can go back to doing and Johnny always cut the grass he cut the grass around the house because it was his it was his grandfather and then his grandmother's house. It was grandmother by wedding. Uh, <clears throat> whole nother story about that whole thing. No, for one day the thing will actually be able to get it correctly recorded. so much more to the history sometimes than what meets the eye. Try not to get choked up about certain things, but... I'm pretty confident saying that it's... it's not our story. Not if you believe that someone made you not if you believe you're not self-created. And it seems like you're living out somebody else's story. You just have so many options on contributions for the whole theme of it. Uh, I had... I had more than just a few revelations of very simple scripture that took me into the deepest parts of my existence. This self-analysis of applying a thought that comes from another man, believing that it's the wisdom of the Creator expressing himself through the words of languages all across the planet. We're not going to believe for one minute that God is, you know, that God's word was in English. <laughs> or that we should, you know, look at it from that perspective. I mean, understanding the... language that it was spoken in and then interpreted and preached all across the planet. You have to wonder why mankind is so screwed up. 
you know, it takes us all back to the, I think, the one basic thought. Are we self-made? Or do we have a common maker of us all? What in the hell is wrong with us? Are we just fighting over these resources that are placed upon this earth? Is that what we're fighting over? Resources or fighting over control? Fighting over, you know, being better than our brother, being more elevated than others. I'm not a communist, but at the same time, I'm not a capitalist to the extent of what we've experienced in terms of the fraud perpetuated upon humanity. It's, it's really atrocious. The blackmail, the thievery, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, human trafficking, selling of blood. I mean, this, this has to come out. And all of humanity should be involved in judgment of this behavior. You know and what? If you want to say that it's okay, stand in line. Stand in line and let us, as a human beings, decide where we want you to live. If you actually believe in human sacrificing, child sacrificing, pedophilia, blood sucking, you know, this, this, the behavior of humanity has never been so, the knowledge of it so available to all other human beings. The internet was a game changer going back, for me anyway, it started in the 80s but really got big in the 90s. I'm telling you, I when I have my, I, I, I have, I have witnesses <laughs> I was involved in getting online and even making purchases, sometimes, you know, you know, tens of thousands of dollars, making purchases through a dial-up system. You actually had to dial up and you had to get connected through a dial-up, which means you were getting connected through the copper wiring and going through some server that was connecting you into a, to a, at least into some sort of forum to make purchases, make bids. I was bidding on cars. Is that a squirrel? Yes, it is. Come on down here, you little Come on down here. Come on. I see you. I'm going to actually take a picture of you. I see you. I know you stopped. Am I getting him? I don't know. I don't think I am. He's right there. see him on the screen. Why am I not pointed in the right? He's right there. Oh, there he is. Okay, I got him. Come on! Watch, I'm gonna scare him. You're at the 23, 24 mark. He's standing. I know he sees me. This is the same squirrel that comes out on the back. This, this, he's part of a family of squirrels that live around. They jump around from tree to tree, no problem. All right, you're going to run off? Hold on, hold on. Let me get a shot. Let me get a shot. Where are you at? There you are. Oh, great shot. Oh, great shot right there with the, my Salem, Salem in line. Oh, my God, Salem in line. And I got the squirrel right there. You're not going to stay there, are you? Coming in closer. Yep. Oh, he's going. He's going. Where'd you go? I see your tail. Come on down. <laughs> I, know, I know that you know I'm the one that puts out the seed. All right, I'm gonna leave you alone. Oh, I hear that bird. That bird goes, that bird is a, goes all the time. I just have never really captured him 
knowing that, that I'm capturing the, per, the bird that's making all that noise. All right, here's that coming up the road. Is that Kevin? That's, that's Kevin. Well, I don't know if that was Kevin. <laughs> Oh. I should be able to capture that thing. I can hear it. I'm going to have to back up and just look. Somewhere's in that tree there. My own interpretation is it stopped because I came in close. Because now it's not putting out its mystical sound. I mean, it went on for a good, I don't know, I probably have it on video. I might have went on the whole 23 minutes that I was filming that last video. It might have been going that whole time. And then as soon as I walked over here to try to find the bird in the tree, because it's still in that tree. It's just not making that sound. <laughs> I wonder if I walk away if it'll start again. This is you and that conspiracy theorist mind of yours. <laughs> okay, you think I planned that? Shh. Stay back here, because it seems to be okay. <laughs> it's right in that tree right in there. And I'm telling it sounds like a big bird. A bigger than average, you know, bird size. If bird size like, you know, the size of a, you know, a, a smaller than a baseball glove. I mean, you know, they're, they're, most birds are small. At least most birds in my field of view. Okay, so back up, he stopped again. He, she, whatever. I think all species have a male and a female, don't they? But maybe not, I don't know. You're not that smart. Well, I don't think that really is a level of smart. I think it's more of a uh, knowledgeable. Being knowledgeable and smart are two different things. I think smart is the ability to take the knowledge and to uh, place it into your conscious awareness to interpret exactly what it is that you are processing. Shit happens.
they're only right here. They're, you know, as soon as I get right past here, they do go up to just about past these trees right here. And it kind of uh, looks like we got it going into here a little bit. We still have it going on here, but pretty much in there, it's not there. Just very limited amount. I thought I cut that thing down. I really wanted to cut it down, but then I thought, my God, it grows some pretty awesome flowers, and the bees, the bees love it, uh, and uh, I'm sure the butterflies do too, because it grows some pretty nice flowers. So the temptation was there to take it out. I should take that lower one out, but the one that's actually grown up there. Um, okay, you don't know what you're talking about. But you do try. I mean, you know, you got to give yourself a little bit of credit. You do try. You've tried a lot of things. Oh, my God. There's, oh, my God. You had two of those rocket stoves, and they worked really good. They were, they did everything that was put out there. Produced a lot of heat. I would heat my two, I had two fish tanks, you know, in those, uh, what were they, uh, I'm trying to think of what size they were, why do I think, I think they were like 75, I don't know, I can't, I'm not even going to say because my brain's not comprehended, they were fairly big food grade containers that I put the fish in, but before I put the fish in, I just used those to, um, continuously, feed the uh, plants that were in the aquaponic system. The aquaponic system works fantastic. Uh, I, I think it goes back, for me, it goes back to 2016 or 17 when I first got into that whole thing. It was probably 2017. I don't know, I had something happen to me in 2016. Which is, you know, part of the record. The MRI, MRI at one of the hospitals. I forget. It's in the record, you know. And they, you know, they diagnosed me with something. And there was drug therapy and and psychology therapy. I mean, all of that. They they did they did everything they had in their system. I think I went through it all and. My own observation is that they never got to the root of what was going on with me. Because it had everything to do with something that was going on inside of my mind. Which I thought had something to do with what happened in my head. Even... <sighs> I think the evidence is all... I, I don't need to go into great detail about that. And I don't think it just started in 2016. I really think it happened for me when I was just a kid. I think it happened when I was six years old. Pretty sure I was around six. It happened in it happened in Eugene, Oregon. It happened in, we lived in a blue house. We, I, there was actually a cherry tree that grew in the backyard. I could go out the window on the second floor out onto the cherry tree and pick cherries, and I used to do that. I know I was only five or six years old. But I, it wasn't like I was some great creation other than my father. I had a lot to live up to in both of my parents. What I was being shown and... And then I end up, end up, mm. I would just say right here at the uh, 34, 34 mark, why can't you make it exactly 35? Because you know you've been into 35. 35 was on your tag number. You've already recorded a video that shows the 35 in the Gematria, CE 35, whatever. And what is that part of? And also, it had your birthday, and it had 529 in it, it had your 5255 in it. It was in your tag, and you got that tag issued to you. It was just a sign of what? 
sign of these connections to other human beings you know and you, if you believe in God why wouldn't you think that God would connect other human beings to unite us in a purpose to bring forth a creation like unto heaven I mean <laughs> don't say the word fuck oh you just said it why couldn't you say like bock suck rock you had to go with fuck I mean, it's the F, F, F U C K versus B U C K. Buck, yeah, there's people named Buck. How about suck, S U C K? Yeah, some people suck. <sighs> but you had to go with the F on there. Let's start with the beginning. B is Buck, C is C. C doesn't really do anything, does it? Cuck? No, no. And then. Oh, wait a minute. Duck. D-U-C-K. Oh, that was one. E-U-C-K. Ugh. No, not really. E. And then we got the F. We all know what fuck is. But then we go from F. We go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 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 Guck. Hmm. I've heard that before, but I don't, not really big word. Guck. G, H, Huck. Huck. Wasn't there a Huck? Huck. Hmm, I think that, that's not Hulk Hogan. No, no, that's different. That's different. No, no. Hulk is H-U-C-K. No, okay. H-I, no. J-Juck. J, no. J-K, Cock. No, I haven't heard of that. But there might be. Don't say it's not. It's just that you haven't heard of it. K, J, J, K. Lock! Oh my god, you're kidding. We go from fuck to lock. I mean, which one do you prefer? I mean, that's a no-brainer, isn't it? Oh, God, it's easy. It's okay. L U L A B C D E F G H I J K L M Muck. Oh, we all know what muck is. We're living in muck. We are absolutely living in muck right now. But who caused the muck? All us fucking human beings did. Now, how are we going to clean it up? We have to judge one another in the muck. Okay. Uh, and knock? No, I haven't heard of knock. You sure knock? 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 There's something like that. I don't know. Okay, knock. And after knock is M N. Uh, wait a minute. L M N O O. No, there's no. Oh, uh, L M N O. Wait a minute. God, you have to start over every time to know what the alphabet is. This is not right, man. Have a seat. Have a seat because you're getting tired and you're just trying to go through the alphabet here. Is this going to hold you? It might. Oh, oh, okay. We're down. We're down. Okay. Are you going to try and tr see? Oh, my God. No, don't do it too long. Where were we at? We were on. We got past. Wait a minute. Hold on. Did we do? We did luck. H O J K L M. We did muck. L M N Nuck. M N O. P puck. There is a puck. Of course, there's a puck. Anybody that plays freaking hockey knows there's a puck. Even if you don't play hockey, you've heard of a puck before. Puck is there. So P is okay. Hey, what's a puck? <laughs> okay, after puck, what do we got? L M N O P. -Q. Wait a minute. L M N O P Q. Quack? No, there's no quack. You sure? Uh, get the dictionary. Uh, for right now, we're going with no. There's no quack. Oh, so it's a Q. Rock! Rock! It's a ruckus! No, that's ruckus. That's not rock. Oh, um, I don't know. My, my, my vocabulary, the, the, uh, the amount that I have stored in my own internal storage, because the dictionary allows for a much broader language ability, but when you're just relying on your own abilities, Ruck, you already did the Ruck, didn't you? Q-R-S, wait, Q, wait a minute, Qu wait a minute, L, we did L, and we did M, and O P. We did the puck. That's where we were at. And then P Q Quack. I don't think so. Art Rock. Everything's a rock. We're gonna go with there. There's a possibility with the rock. Q R S S Suck. We know there's a suck. Oh my God. There's way too much sucking going on here, and it's mostly. 
I don't know why suck has got kind of a negative uh, implication. When something sucks, it's not really good. Don't go there, Johnny, because you know that is almost R-rated. No, in some cases, that's X-rated. Okay, so we're going to go with... I like sucking on a straw, especially a chocolate milkshake, when you know it's mostly ice cream at the bottom, and you're sucking up some of the ice cream on the bottom. Okay, QRS... That's the sucking and tea tuck. We know a tuck. Oh my god, of course. Tuck in that shirt, John. Your shirt tails out. Get it tucked in. Oh yeah. That goes back to St. Lawrence Day, fourth grade. The little, we had white shirts and we had dark pants and we actually had to go to a certain store to get the uniforms that were the St. Lawrence uniforms. The girls had a uniform and the boys had a uniform and we all went there and we were. <sighs> We were at least on the same, uh, not necessarily the same page, but we had the same uh, directory that was uh, making sure we all looked alike in terms of our clothing. Okay, John, that's far enough. Where were you at? P Q P Q Q well, Q R S T. We did the tuck. S T U. There's no U V. There's no Vuck. V Q R S T U V W. Walk. Walk. There's possibilities with walk, but uh, I can't get it. Walk. W X Zuck. No X. Q R X T Tuck. We did the tuck. Why we seems like we're backing up. It could be you know you're like a little. Mixed up with the video on you and all. Can you, like, turn it around the other way? You got some beautiful dandelion. That makes for much, much better screen material. You know what I'm saying? That's a nice one. You can eat that right now. You can just pick it and eat it. I mean, you've done... You, have you ever done that before? You know... Oh, my God. You are freaking insane. But, you know, I'm just saying... Uh, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Put around. Okay, you did, you just picked the dandelion. You picked it. It's freshly picked. I mean, you, you did, you didn't get the whole root. The whole root's still in there, but what are you going to, whoa, this thing's moving on me. Oh my God, we got movement. Hold on. What? I don't think this is the first dandelion, but. I'm going to say it's over 60-some years that I would have ate a dandelion. Mmm. I'm going to swish around in my mouth, actually. Do you think you were ever a good looking man? Well, I know that uh, I had absolutely nothing to do with the design or the consciousness of those that had to endure having me in their life. I'm just saying, why is that? Because I have this self-awareness of myself. I didn't become a renegade in the last year, the last decade, but in fact, my whole life. I questioned everything all the time. If it didn't match my reality, I didn't believe it. I needed evidence. 
somehow in this my own uh, imagination of my journey because it is my journey and my imagination is the interpretation of that journey relative to the overall beginning and end to it all okay you're going for what now hold on turn the camera around you're going to go for one of those Don't hurt yourself, John. What do you have it? What the good? What is it with you and the camera? You're getting it. Okay, you got it. You got it. You got it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you have it? You do. Can you back up a little bit? There it is. It's it's actually beautiful, but I'm gonna eat it. What? You know, you've thought about it, you've thought about it, and you're finally gonna do it. It's not like you know, you're eating the whole yard because you could eat quite a few of these, so Okay, we're turning. First, you admire its beauty. And if I was a bee, maybe I would be looking for the pollination, looking for something that's right there on those little... I, I don't know that part. I'm just not that smart. I don't know why my tongue all of a sudden... Oh, God, don't go there, John, because we could... We could make a movie about that. The split tongue thing. Oh, my God. You have this little split in the middle of your tongue. Do you speak with a forked tongue? Oh, my God. I think you actually have... Those very one-time... Uh, not close to you... Uh, spiritually or you know in some sort of cosmic awareness i'm just talking about physically close to you meaning you know <gasps> they might have had to have actually you were actually possibly there when they you know came through their mother's womb and then you held them shortly after that experience for them and you might have been the first sight they had of a live living creation because the woman that they just got delivered through was probably in a recovery mode from just having to pass such a large creation through a very small opening. Did you actually say that on this video? How many minutes are we into this? You just ate two plants. Can we cut now? How many minutes is this? Let's stop it. Hold on, get your glasses on. Let's stop at some even point. It's at 48.12, so we'll stop at 50. We'll stop at exactly 50. You better put your glasses on if you're gonna make this exact, because you don't get into editing anything, do you? Because so for you to do this would be, that would be huge. There's a double whammy right there. Are you gonna eat two more? I'm gonna see how that one just settles in my gut. I have a harvest here where I'm sitting. All I need is the motivation to do it. Even though I know it's like... you Is it... In some cases I really do believe you have to be aware of the blessing that's been put there in your life in order for you to not only realize it but to benefit from the presence of it in your life that for me has been I think probably the biggest hurdle why it's not a hurdle I had such I have had such incredible blessings and it always came in the form of people 99% of the time it came in the form of other creations that for the most part acknowledged my existence to some extent they were aware of my presence I actually had some impact on them even though it might have been 
briefly. Are you ready to hit that button? We're at 54, 55, 56, 57, 58. 